I'm going to show you, similar to the Excel file, how to make a graph in numbers from iWork. So this is a Mac exclusive application. So just like in my Excel file, I have my temperature values and my glucose produced in milligrams per deciliter for the lactase activity. So again, I'm going to highlight my data, and then I'm going to come up here and click on the Charts tab, go down to Scatter, and that's going to bring up my initial chart. Now, typically when you do that, it will open up this bin here where you can easily edit it, but just in case it doesn't, if you click on Inspector while the chart is selected, that will also bring up the same window. All right, so you'll notice that just like in Excel, this doesn't give me the exact kind of graph that I want, so I'm going to actually have to customize this a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this temperature legend. I'm going to change the title to Effect of Temperature on Lactase Activity. And then I also want to label my other axes. So I'm going to come in here and choose Axis Options under Value Axis Y. And I'm going to choose Show Title. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to type Glucose Produced. Then put MG slash DL. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the X axis. So Show Title. temperature and in parentheses and if you press alt option K it does the degree symbol and then I close that up now I'm ready to work with the actual graph so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend it and make it a little larger so that I can kinda of see my changes and there are a couple of things I want to point out first and foremost it's automatically given us pluses as our data points. It has grid lines in here just like Excel did, and it also chose to not provide us with a y-axis. So those are several things initially we need to kind of address. So the first of those, I'm going to remove the grid lines. So again, I'm going to come to Value Axis Y, click on the drop-down menu, and I'm going to choose Show gri uh, Major Grid Lines and deselect that. So I've removed those grid lines. Again, if I choose that same option and I go to Show Axis, then it gives me my Y axis. So now I've got my X axis and my Y axis. Both are labeled. I can increase the size of these fonts if I want to. But now what I want to focus on are the data points. So I'm going to click on the data points and I'm going to click Series. And that's going to bring up this option here. And I'm going to choose Data Symbol and I'm going to choose the Circle and I'm going to actually decrease the size down to about four so that makes them look like actual points and then I'm going to choose connect points curve and that gives me a curve now what you will notice is that because of the way our axis is formatted right now the curve extends from the start of the graph all the way to the end and it also extends pretty much from the bottom all the way up to the top and gets cut off so to prevent that from happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend my y-axis. So again, I'm going to come over to axis, y-axis. For my maximum value, I'm going to type in 1100. I'm going to hit enter. And that now has changed the numeric values here, but it's also extended my axis a little higher so that my graph is no longer cut off. If I want to extend the number of steps, I can choose five steps. That'll change a little bit the way that this is actually numbered. And then over here on the x-axis, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm actually going to make the maximum value 120. And I'm going to extend it to six steps. 